Today, I'm at the world's biggest electronic show, CES, and I'm gonna share the coolest technologies that I've seen here today. So let's get into it. I wanna thank Narwhals for sponsoring this video. We'll share more about them later. All right, I'm at the AmazeFit booth, and they've released probably the coolest technology that I've seen, so we'll put this as number one, but it is the Helio glasses, smart glasses for running and cycling, where you can see your pace, your heart rate, your distance, your duration, all with a heads-up display inside the glasses. They make watches, now they make glasses. It's gonna fully integrate, so the ecosystem is gonna work seamlessly. I think that's huge. The number one technology, they also have a vital camera prototype. Uh, this is what it kind of looks like and feels like. It is a prototype, it is very, very early on. It's a concept that they're testing out, but I'm excited to see how this changes the game. If you have any questions about the Amazfit watches, the Helio ring, the Helio glasses, and the vital device, let me know in the comments below. I can make a more in-depth video on my channel. Now, there are two really cool smart glasses. One was Even Realities and then the Roku glasses. These guys are kind of like in the game. The new Even Realities has a smart ring where you can control what you're doing. The Roku ones, I think are kind of interesting. I didn't get a chance to demo them out, but it shows a screen, translation, you can read a script. Uh, so it's very, very interesting that we're starting to see more heads up display glasses. All right, this is the all new With Things Body Scan 2. It's coming out later this year. There are three massive upgrades from the original body scan, which I have. One is the hypertension notifications, which is very unique. We don't have a lot of that in a lot of devices. The second one is advanced cardiovascular analysis, how well your heart is pumping. Probably shouldn't be talking during the scan, but that's okay. Uh, and then a deep metabolic and cellular assessment, which is the third version. Um, and this just has higher frequencies to be able to detect these new uh, biometrics, which I think is game changing. All right, Rincon just released their Gen 3 ring. So these are the major upgrades here is that now there's vibration in the ring. So you can have an alarm wake you up on the ring. Two is blood pressure insights. This is the first I guess like major ring player that's releasing blood pressure insights. You do have to use a blood pressure monitor to kind of calibrate it, but after that you're able to do blood pressure measurements, it seems like, to get that information at any time in the morning. They're still offering all the same sizes, I think up to 14, and they have two new colors, which is like a brushed rose and a brushed silver. Those colors look super clean. And then the charging case is now available for any size. So like if you get a certain size ring, your charging case is gonna be the same. If you have a friend who has a ring con, you wanna charge their ring too, you can all use the same charger, so I think that's huge. That's a big win. All right, this is the LumiMind Sleep Headband. It has EEG tracking on the inside. It has these ear muffs, and then it uses audio stimulation to help you fall asleep and stay asleep faster. Obviously, I've tried sleep headbands before, but today I want to learn more about what this is like. So I had some questions. How? What are the different uh, measurement devices in here? Like, what it's, uh, has an EEG, but what are the different sensors? How many sensors? What kinds of sensors are on here? Uh, that PPG sensors, which we can measure your heartbeat and uh, uh, SpO2, which is saturation of your uh, blood oxygen. Also, we have this seven point uh, electrode. It's covered, uh, uh, covered by uh, silver. And when will this be available to purchase or pre-order? Uh, June, 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 June 2026. So once again, Narwhal, thanks for sponsoring this video. Next up is the Narwhal Flow 2. This thing is insanely smart. It's not a regular robot vacuum. It has essentially two eyes. There's two RGB cameras right here that can detect objects. So it has valuable object protection. So let's say you drop your keys, your phone, you have a charging cable that's on the ground. It's going to use these two eyes to be able to see that object and then make sure to properly avoid it. I used to have a robot vacuum back in the day and I love the convenience where you don't have to worry about you know, cleaning up, it automatically does it. But all the time I would get cables, objects that I left on the floor that get damaged, things would get tied up. But now with this, it's gonna be able to see it and be able to move around it. So I think that's revolutionary. The second best feature is the new pet mode. So if you have pets, let's say you got a dog, a cat or something, it's gonna use these eyes and then it's gonna figure out that you have a pet nearby and it's gonna actually decrease the volume of the vacuum. So the suction is gonna be a little bit lower. So that way it doesn't disturb your pet and it's gonna make sure to properly avoid your pet as well. And the third coolest feature is a baby mode. So I don't have any kids yet, but I will one day, hopefully very soon. And one thing that, you know, with a vacuum, it makes a lot of noise, so it could wake up your baby. This not only detects a baby, like a crawl space, it's gonna avoid areas where your baby might be crawling, but it's gonna detect a crib. Now, is it not only avoiding objects, but it has adaptive cleaning. It's able to detect, you know, is this a dry or wet environment, and it's able to properly clean that environment based on what it sees. And they also released two or more things. One is the U50 mattress vacuum. It uses 137 degrees Fahrenheit of heat, UV sterilization. And lastly, they released the V50 cordless vacuum. It is so light, 3.1 pounds, but it pulls 210 air watts. And if you're into smart home tech that actually saves you time, go check out Narwhal. It'll be linked down in the description. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. On to the next products. All right, this is the Sleep Pal AI lamp. It is an AI, I don't know about the AI part, but essentially it's going to do some sleep tracking. The lights can change. There's meditations that you can listen to. Uh, it is an interesting concept. 
but I haven't seen one of these to be successful. You do need your bed stand to be like at the same height as your bed. You need one for each side of the bed. So although it is interesting, I'm curious to see if this will pan out to be something that's useful. If you want to see me test it, let me know in the comments below. All right, this is the Ohm Resonance Lamp and it's supposed to help you feel calm. So today we're gonna show you how. Okay. Oh, now it's vibrating. So these are the sensors on the bottom. That's the green light. So it's giving me, okay. And this there is, the, is haptic, it's trying to read because you're supposed to have that my palm. connection to your palm. Okay. So oh. now it recognizes it, so. So now I breathe out. Yep. And then when the light comes back up, you're breathing in. And then you breathe out. And it's got a timer that's gonna go. With, when it turns to an actual full blue, that means that you've done it, you've hit like a really relaxed, there you go. You're actually, you're the only the second person Woo! who got to blue. You're the second <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I got to blue. You did it. These are the Soundcore sleep buds, the Sleep A30s. They have ear noise cancellation. You can help you drift off and fall asleep. You can see right there, they're super simple. They're flat. They go right inside your ears. You got a charging case with USB-C. It slides on super easy. You can open and close it. And these are super neat. I want to test them out. They actually feel much lighter than the Oslo sleep buds in terms of the size and weight. This is Nax. It's a FDA cleared EEG device. For the medical purposes, we are exploring mainly sleep, epilepsy, and Alzheimer's disease. All right, I'm here at the Eli Tent booth where they do saliva testing for cortisol and then progesterone and testosterone coming soon. Within this device, there is a custom proprietary assay. That assay, when you pull it, it pulls your saliva and is able to essentially pull these lines up and then using our app, uh, it uses computer vision and AI to be able to detect the nuances within this line to give you an accurate reading of your cortisol level at that time. This is Mira Health. It is hormone tracking for women. It is a four-in-one at-home test. They actually measure a couple things. So you have LH, FSH, uh, progesterone, and estrogen right here. They're testing all those things just through urine. Um, it's a very simple process. You urinate into this cup. You have a test strip right here. Then this is what the device looks like. You'll go ahead and slide that test strip in there. This will sync to your phone and it'll actually display the numbers on the screen itself. I think seeing a lot of new health trackers around women's health is really important. We don't see a lot of that. So obviously I can't test this, but this is very interesting to see. This is the all new Luna Band. It just got released today here at Pepcom. Uh, at CES, and we got first hands look at it. This is kind of what it looks like. It's very similar to a Whoop In or the Amazfit Helio, um, but it also has all the same software features that the Lunar Ring has, which I've also tested on this channel. Um, so I'm excited to see what this is like. I want to test it out. You can see there's a little heart rate sensor on the back. You've got the strap that feeds through the top. I don't know how difficult it's going to be to move this strap up and down with this device, but that's something to test. It's going to be different colors, different bands, but their biggest update is going to be Life OS. So this is kind of what they're calling it, Life OS. This is the new Luna ring. And the biggest update is you can use Siri to log your caffeine intake. You're like, hey, or hey, magic word, I just took this much caffeine at 7 p.m. It'll log it in the app. It can use your information around your sleep, your daily activity to then give you insights based on that. Uh, you can do habits, supplement tracking, you're able to use voice commands to log that information. They're really trying to up their game, which is the features that they're offering. So it's not just hardware tracking. Okay. I'm here at the Pulsetta booth. I'm about to try Vegas nerve stimulation for the very first time. Ta-da. Ta-da. So I'll put this on your <laughs> <laughs> I got her. <laughs> okay. This is sending electrical signals, right? I got her. So the, this thing is supposed to help you feel less stressed, calm, peaceful. It's, it's, whoa. So this is the Pulsetta device wearing it on my neck. It feels like slight electrical pulses, activation of my muscles, it's supposed to help you feel calm, reduce anxiety, de-stress, help you fall asleep. There's different modes, different settings. You can do it on different levels as well. So you did have to apply a gel on it before putting it on. Um, you can do this like while you're working, sitting on a desk, which is really interesting. Okay, now the pulsing has gotten really fast. This is unique. Um, and then there's also wipes to kind of wipe down your neck once you take it off. I've seen this a lot, but I haven't tried it. So it's very cool to try this for the first time. All right, I'm here at the Ultra Human booth. They've released some really cool health technologies. One, they have their Ultra Human Ring, uh, which is not available in the US, but it should be coming back in Q1 2026. And the other two coolest things that I really am excited about is one, their blood testing, and two is the Ultra Human Home, which is an at-home sensor that you put next to your bed. So the Ultra Human Home can detect light, noise, it can tell if you're snoring, uh, if the lights are too bright, uh, air quality. Uh, it's a small little box that has a USB-C port that you just plug into it, and it's able to measure all these things. You can turn the Wi-Fi on and off, the microphone, on and off. It is a really interesting piece of technology. I think having something next to your bed that can measure things without you having to do anything can be extremely valuable. Okay, so this is the world's smallest ECG. This is crazy. And you invented this? 
It takes three of these? Yeah, when you stack three of them together to yep. equal the width of the Medtronic link, which is the you world's smallest clinician review with the cardiologist. It's about this, about that thick. It's at one third the volume of Okay, so that guy is the creator of the world's smallest ECG, and it's a little credit card size that you can just pull out, do a test. I think that's insane. The more and more that we can get medical technologies that can save lives in a small form factor is going to change the world, so that was cool. I'm here at the Garmin booth, and they have some new updates on the app. That's their biggest update with the Garmin Connect Plus. Uh, if you do have the paid subscription, you'll be able to get some really interesting features, so go check that out. And then the watch is obviously the Venue X4, which I need to review. The new Phoenix 8 Pro with the micro LED. Um, that's really interesting. The screen's extremely bright. That's a $2,000 watch, so I want to test that bad boy out. All right, so this is Nerva right here. It has two microphones, as you can see right here on the bottom. These are the two microphones. It has a light sensor as well as an accelerometer to detect movement, and it's able to give you uh, its recording. So journal about your insights, about how you're feeling, uh, maybe you're restless or things like that. It has a whole journal in terms of how you might be feeling, what you're talking about, um, insights about your mood, energy, and stress. And it's supposed to look super clean. As you can see, it looks like a regular necklace. No one should know that this is actually electronic. All the electronic components are inside of this piece right over here. Super clean and simple. All right, we are here at the Plot booth. They do AI audio tracking. They have two major devices. One is the phone case. This is like MagSafe, it connects to your phone. And then they have a new one, which is the Plot Note S Pin. What's interesting is the magnetic one can go on the back of your phone and then the little pin you can wear on a necklace, wear on your wrist, take notes for you. It transcribes everything that you say and the people around you say. It'll summarize it. You can use AI on the notes. It's like a second brain where you're able to get information, remember intel and things that you're talking about. So I think it's going to be a very uh, unique concept that you can use to be more productive. The all-new U400 Smart Lock from Acara. Check it out here. It's going to use ultra wideband. So you can see the phone is now moving. It's going to automatically unlock. It's going to support iPhones and Apple Watches where an Apple Home Hub is required. So ultra wideband, you can just walk up to the door. You no longer need to tap the lock, but it'll instantly unlock when you get really close by. Um, they do provide other smart locks as well. And there's a new thermostat. They have a whole bunch of like at-home products that you can see here, like the plugs switches but this is their newest update you can even see the ultra wide band activating right there all right so this is the smartest cooking device i've probably seen here right and so you can cook how many different kinds of meals on this a uh, hundred thousand different recipes all you need are the ingredients you can actually send them to instacart from here to your local oh, wow. grocery store kroger amazon fresh wherever you want to shop just put it in there's all kinds of recipes that are 15 minute 25 minute 30 minute quick recipes um, and then there's some that are very complex if you're a gourmet chef. It's micro LED TVs. Now this one's huge. Lots of micro LED TVs from LG, Samsung. This seems to be the newest technology that's coming to most TVs now to create the best visuals possible. Lexar Storage, you know I've made videos about Lexar on my second channel. I love their Lexar Professional Workflow Go and the Lexar Professional Workflow. You're able to have it SSDs, CF Express Type A, Type B, micro SD, SD cards, all the different options. You can import multiple cards at the same time. So this is huge. If you're someone who deals with multiple cameras, you want to have a system that's super easy. We are hands on with the brand new Samsung Trifold. You know, I've tested these Samsung Folds. So this is the first time I'm holding the Trifold. I want to see how heavy it is, what it feels like. This thing is massive. Like, look at that screen. It has three screens, I guess, on one side and one screen on the back. So if I want to take a photo right here, we can go ahead and turn on selfie mode. I should be able to use the back camera. Okay, now we've activated this back camera so I can see what I'm taking a photo of from this side, as well as I can flip it to then also see the selfie camera from this side. So that is pretty neat. Check that out. You can see on this side what it looks like, as well as the camera facing. So you're almost like dual capture. Um, and then when you want to fold it up to see how it looks, Oh, it's saying open and fold the phone from the other side. So we're gonna open it up. We're gonna fold it in this way and then close it up. And now we've got the phone right here. It is pretty heavy when you hold it in your hand. It's pretty thick. Um, you can see how big the camera bumps are. Uh, and this is the hinge on this side and then you can open it up the screen so I can go ahead and be like, hey, I want to go to the, my calendar. And now I'm like, I wanna see more. I can open it up. We have a screen here and then open it up again. And now we have a massive calendar. So this is the trifold. This is insane. If you think I should buy one and test it out with my day-to-day -day life, let me know. I'm so curious how this will manage in a real life experience, but just playing with this hands-on, this feels like a nice iPad. These are the brand new Camelo glasses. Check this out, they changed tints. I didn't realize that, you know, if you're a runner or a cycler, when I started cycling, there's different tints of glasses. 
and I was like, why do we need different tints? But then I realized if you're biking in the morning and then as the sun rises, it gets brighter, you need better glasses. But then you need two different glasses. Whereas these ones, you can change the tint based on the brightness. I think it's a huge game changer. The one of the first and only ones that do it. And they have a pair. This is without speakers. It's lighter, it's smaller. They have a pair that does offer speakers built in, which I'm gonna test out. This is insane. They also offer a tint on off for cars. So they have a Tesla car here, where you can turn the tint, window tint on and off. They have snow goggles that they just announced. And they're planning to add speakers and music into these snow goggles as well too. Very interesting up and coming brand. Uh, I can't wait to keep testing them out. Let me know what questions you have down below. This is the anti-gravity A1 360 drone. And this thing is the next level. We have regular drones, but the 360 drone lets you capture someone. Like let's say you're tracking a car, a person, and the drone's gonna fly as is. But because it's a 360, it's capturing everything. It's like a camera at all angles, and you'll be able to capture content of a car. You can reframe the video as you're flying. So let's say you're flying over a car, uh, and then you wanna reframe to something in the sky, you can do that. Or let's say you're surfing or something, and you move, and you are kind of out of the frame of a typical camera drone. This will allow you to capture whatever it is when you're doing action sports. We're at the Apollo booth. They make electric scooters, and now they're actually making e-bikes as well. So you can see right here, those are the new e-bikes they're gonna be launching. You can see here, this is the Apollo Phantom Stellar. It is $3,000, insane battery life. What's really nice is they have a dual shock system um, and it's beautiful. These things are stunning. They have these beautiful lights, massive light bar on the front. Uh, this is the top tier one, but honestly, I prefer the lighter version because you can pick it up, move it around. It's easier to use in New York City. So this is the all new Gym Nano. Ooh. It goes onto any squat rack and you're able to do a workout. The bands are up to five meters long. You can change the weights. This will go up to 220 pounds each. So you get 440 pounds total on both these devices. This unit will come off. You can charge it. The charge will last you up to 30 days. The handles, you can swap out. These work with the Speedians Gym Monster 2, which is back there, which you've seen me review. Um, this thing got released just a few months ago. It is brand new. It'll strap around the squat rack. This thing is separate. You can lock it on, take it off. Uh, this is very exciting. Not only that, they've also released a couple other things. The all new Expedience strap. This thing looks exactly like a whoop, but it's supposed to provide you. <laughs> Does it not? I heard that. <laughs> it's supposed to be able to give you some wellness insights and it's gonna integrate with the entire Expedience ecosystem. So that is very exciting. We're here at the Vivo booth. I have tried their urine test strips before, but they have a whole bunch of new products. They're actually releasing a smart toilet that just got announced today. This is only $99. All it does, sadly, is just hydration. Uh, whereas like the with things, the booth is right there. They have a U-Scan, I think that's $300. And that does four variables. Um, this one, you don't need to clean it, they said. You just flush and that cleans it. There is a battery that's easy to swap out. So I think it's very interesting. Smart toilets are becoming more and more popular. They do have their uh, urine tests. They have ovulation tests, fertility tests for women. They're also releasing these pads as well. Um, this is kind of what the smart toilet box looks like. Um, pH test, hydration, vitamin C, sodium test. You, Essentially, get the test strip out, you urinate on it, and you scan it with your phone, and it'll give you your results. Um, I'm excited to see what the future of Vivo holds, but this is a really interesting booth and a way to me measure your health. This is the Sony Afila One, and they said that you can actually test drive these in California later this year, and they're gonna deliver them to customers later this year, which is gonna drive itself, it's gonna allow you to play PlayStation in the car. You don't have to worry about anything, you can just be creative, you can have entertainment. Battery packs, there's lots of battery packs from Blue Yeti, Jackery, so many options. I think this is interesting. If you travel a lot, you want to power something portable, these things are fascinating. I haven't tested them all, but if you want to see more videos on that, let me know. Let me know which one was your favorite product. Once again, thank you, Narwhal, for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description to go check them out. Subscribe, turn notifications. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.